I don't think it'd be so bad. I've reached the age now where if I really want to kill somebody, I'm going to because I really figure I wouldn't mind spending my last years in a jail. First question, which is stupid. To Sheena, what does it mean? Like Joan in Hebrew means anal itch. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Not anal itch. Anal itch. Anal really? itch. Yeah. <laughs> but only in Hebrew. <laughs> in French, it just means hemorrhoid. Do you think... See, I have to get serious because it's like an interview. Okay. Easy, uh, Charlie Rose. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, oh, he's looking terrible. Did you, ever, did, you ever, did you ever fuck Charlie Rose? He I tried to. desperately to yeah. get away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought... We'll trade STDs at the end of this. <laughs> Melissa, My that... junk will look like a pepperoni pizza slice by the end of the... You know, anybody can go through life without an STD. <laughs> There's no story there. I think it's important when you sit down at a table to say to people, does this rash look unusual? <laughs> it's a great conversation breaker. Oh, yeah. Sex with um, so that I can have a better career. Ooh, Oprah. This is a good Oprah. I'm sorry. Oprah. Or Gail. No, look what Gail is because of Oprah. I'm just saying, maybe if Oprah is busy, she could sleep with Gail and that could lead to some sort of Oprah liaison. You had a stroke in college? Now you keep calling yourself Persian. Yes. Why Persian, not Iranian? It's like I call myself Jew, not cunt. So I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> what about Fran Drescher? Cause, uh, Love really, Fran. Yeah, uh, hilariously Another funny. Jew girl. Another Jew girl. Another Jew girl. Married to a gay guy. How did she not know? <laughs> how did she not the, know? How, <laughs> you don't notice your husband is wearing your clothes. You don't notice he's dancing around screaming. He knew both oh, Liza like, and Lorna. Yeah. That's a gay man. Yeah. No straight man even knows who Lorna is. You know. Okay. What about your private life? Good, bad, sad, happy. You know, I've had it all. And don't ask me about mine. <laughs> <laughs> you notice this bed, there are no stains, there's nothing. Oh, I mean, it's just it's nothing. It's nothing. It's so <laughs> pathetic. Look at this pathetic spread. <laughs> We've all learned a lot about Whitney Houston, haven't we? And what have we learned? We've learned that if you're going to take drugs, take a shower. And the, the audience, there is such a sucky, the breath goes in, you hear like, oh, my eyelashes are pulled off in the vacuum that is formed. I always wanted you to like interview me on the red carpet, but I'm never invited to the white events. Uh, well, like I'm never I, invited, well, oh, I'm so tired of this. Never invited the word of it. Like you see me hanging around Harlem. Nobody invites me any place. Oh, they would love you up yeah. in Harlem. Well, Girl, let's, you're let's loved. Get, let's get an invitation. And I thought cocksucker was a word of endearment. Right. Like, what's How up, lucky? cocksucker? Yeah. You're lucky if when you're I'm a gay man. And, and your worst things could happen to both of us, frankly. Oh, my darling. Thank you. If you're a, 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 a gay man of a certain age and you're lucky enough to suck a cock, I think this is what, good. Good morning, cocksucker. That's right. Good How luck are you, to you cocksucker? cocksucker. Yes. Hope you cocksuck today. That's right. <laughs> Talk about big dicks. And, you know, and, uh, I, how proud you are. <laughs> I saw your turning pages with yours and all that backstage and big feet and all that. But you worry. This is a very gentle man. He worries about women's vaginas. I do. I think almost, almost constantly. <laughs> with, 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 without a, uh, even a breath. A tear comes sure. to my eye. I was born in 1969. I'm yeah. 43, and the no, you I'm look the first great. To Thank you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, that's also because black don't crack. Black <laughs> don't crack. You know how that goes. Well, Jew, some black cracks. Yeah, well, some very few. Cracks. Jew do mildew. If you look closely, it's <laughs> very damp. Did you see? look at your Jewish friends? There's always a little green around here. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's aunts and uncles died in the Holocaust, I think, or my gram my grandparents' aunts and uncles died in the Holocaust. Like, we're Jews. And do you have to, to take Hitler. that very seriously when, like, you see around, they go, you know, Aunt Sadie died in the Holocaust. No, no, no. And they forget no. to mention that she was a, a woman's room attendant, you know? She, <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even Jewish. She slipped while she was cleaning up Jew <laughs> What do you want to do when you're my age <clears throat> besides breathe? Which you're ready, Mrs. <laughs> and not wear a diaper. I am already your idol. But what? 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 Yeah. Did you see him in prosecuting Casey Anthony? No. What? I live tweeted. I know. It. I have to see it. I have to see it. And was did it show her side of it? 
Look, I know you think no, Casey Anthony is no, misunderstood. You know something. I know you think she was having a rough day. You know, I met a but lot there's a reason she's in hiding in Ohio. I've met a lot of three-year-olds who are pretty shitty. Yeah. I don't think it'd be so bad. I've reached the age now where if I really want to kill somebody, I'm going to because I really figure I wouldn't mind spending my last years in a jail. I get to meet Bernie Madoff. Yeah. And, and he's look, got stories. He's got stories. Yeah. There are a lot of people in there I'd like OJ. You'd like but, to finally find out what happened once and for all. And the, I would probably get my own cell. Uh, you know, I would love to have known what how, what state of mind were you in when you when, when you were pregnant? I <laughs> smoked and drank oh and God. did major drugs. <laughs> and Melissa's fine. We don't judge. We, we don't, don't judge. judge. I don't, we don't judge, judge at all. Who are we to judge? Who are we to fucking judge? <laughs> fucking no way. <laughs> Fuck them that's fucking, that we fucking judge. Listen. Right into the camera. Fuck you Fuck fucking you. judges. You judges, you. We have fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Even gay people became very conservative during the 80s, you know? Now, how would a tranny become conservative? Like, you wear dark hose? <laughs> I mean, right, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know any, like, you, you try to look homely? I mean, how do you like it? <laughs> Well, I don't listen, but you know, now with social media, everybody's got something to fucking say. Why do you read it? Well, because it's there. You know, sometimes I... at an airport, you gotta look at it, Joan. You no, know. I don't. You don't? And if it's negative, you're wasting your time, wasting your time, ain't looking at it. Well, the thing is, I- minute it says, dear cunt, I know what we're <laughs> I know it's either somebody says something negative or it's Melissa, and I just know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I first time I saw you, why I loved you, because instead of calling yourself Tubby, I loved that you called yourself, as you know, Fluffy, not fat, and that to me was so like me because I never call myself old. Oh, you guys know that. I just call myself death adjacent, and I just think that makes <laughs> such a difference. You know, that's. Were you, were you, were you fat as a child? Can you say fat? Yeah. One of the words I'm not allowed to say. You can say you. anything you want. They'll, just don't call me George Lopez and we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do people mistake you a lot for George Lopez? So they uh, go, ah, George Lopez. I in like in the beginning, it used to yeah, You're dyslexic. Yes. All right. So welcome to Joan in bed with. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Listen, I do all the drugs. Because when I had my daughter, I was like, look, give me all the drugs. And I was like, if you don't wake me up for the drugs, you're fired. Yeah, I told yeah. him. Wake me up and just tell me, is she okay? <laughs> and what color is she? Because I had a very interesting sex life. <laughs> women either get better looking, homely women get better looking. <laughs> no, but they do. My mother always said, don't worry about her. You know, she's a horse now, but she'll get better. My mother always said that. Don't you worry. You're gonna get better looking. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs>